Hello everybody, my name is Ryo and we are back with in terms of doing videos. I apologize for my voice being uh, not that good in terms of uh, the recording itself because the recording setup is a bit weird and I have to make do with what I have and trying to make the best of it. So anyway, uh we're gonna back we're gonna do a t couple of tutorial videos, mainly I think about two. And yeah, those most of the tutorial videos that I'm gonna do is gonna be explaining mostly regarding this software which uh this software along with uh, some technical choices that why do I normally do? Or why do I choose to use that kind of technique? So yeah, I'm just gonna get it out there right now. I am not the best drawer ever. I'm not the best artist ever. And this video probably wouldn't be the best explanation ever. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to explain the best if I can, best as I can, in terms of the choices and the software itself and the workaround of stuff I normally do with regard in this video, uh, regarding drawings. So no further ado, let's just dig in. So yeah, uh, before we go through something really quickly, the only thing you might need to pay attention is the stabilizer right here if you are going to use this software. So the stabilizer actually affects your stroke in terms of the smoothness level as you guys can see right now stroke smooth level for digital input i'm not quite sure whether this one works with a mouse but i am using a drawing tablet right now so it will definitely affects the stabilizer the smoothness of the stroke so for example like this so anyway uh so yeah that's uh pretty much what you have to know in terms of the stuff right now i'm gonna explain much more further once i start drawing as well so I'm going to begin drawing using one of my characters, uh, Mio, which I uploaded uh, a couple of days ago. I'm just going to do something real quick and sketch it out. So be right back. Okay, so we're back. So, alright, I'm gonna go through right now what I just did. Uh, okay. I actually make the picture a bit smaller, so... Uh, this kind of technique is called the thumbnail technique, I think. Something like that. I'm not quite sure what what is the correct terminology of it, but basically what I did is that I make the... Basic, uh, basically make the canvas itself like really really small I basically like zoom out really really far like a sort of a thumbnail kind of a size maybe a bit smaller than this screen over here or maybe a bit bigger it depends on uh, your own your own what you call it your own preference I guess so what this actually do is that it basically scrums down all the details and you can basically draw everything really really quickly because you can basically have an overview of everything and 
you could basically do sketching really, really fast this way. At least to my knowledge, it does help me quite a lot in terms of pacing itself. But if you were to zoom in real quick, uh, zoom in real quick, it looks really, really rough. So yeah, so that's the downside of it. But it doesn't really matter actually, because what I am doing right now is basically sketching. So sketching is the real quick part that you really want to get it out. It doesn't really matter whether the whether the uh, size is correct or whether the position is correct. But what you do want to do is get it, basically get out a basic shape for your character, the fastest way uh, you could possibly do. And yeah, so this is uh, what the sketching uh, normally do. So this is uh, uh, basically my options of the do normally doing when I'm trying to do sketching. And I normally use this uh, fit image to basically check, double check whether the position is a bit alright or not. Just uh, move this one over here. Okay, so what I notice here is sometimes like if you look at this, this looks uh, perfectly fine. But when you flip it, it looks a bit out of shape. So normally the out of shape part is just about here. It might be because my vision is a bit uh, different than yours. But I felt that here is a bit slightly off. And the head is sort of tilted in a way too much. So this one sort of balances it out back into shape. So this uh, normally uh, this flip thing is normally used for checking whether it's symmetrical or not. It depends on what kind of style you're trying to do and stuff. So yeah. So normally what I do is I basically sketch something real quick like this. I have the most basic stuff, most basic this layer, like a basic uh, figure for you to work around with. It doesn't. Uh, this figure doesn't really matter that much because it's basically a guideline for you to follow yourself when you try to draw. You, you can see that uh, the shape and stuff changed drastic, uh, drastically because I decided to change up uh, some couple stuff. So it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of uh, shape you use. So the most important stuff is that you have a basic uh, guideline towards uh, what you're trying to do. So yeah, this is a real quick sketching, and normally thing I do regarding this one. So there are two types of uh, process I will go through when after I finish sketching. Is that first is that let's take a look uh, what else we need to add. So in terms of this picture itself, it's pretty much fine. Uh, normally I don't really add need uh, need to add much because this character itself is basically designed like this. So it's much more easier for me to go around and try to do whatever I want to do. So for example, if you want to add a couple more stuff, you could. Because uh, this is the process of sketching. So whatever you do, will further down add more towards uh, the character. Basically giving the character itself a much more of a personality itself. Something distinguished between the characters. So normally, uh, if I want to add, like uh, for example, um, a ribbon or a bow. Something like that. <laughs> so I can add something real quick here. Because that is the basically the purpose of the sketching. So you can y generally see how much uh, stuff you want to add as well before you go towards the final stage. So this is... Uh, yeah, so if you want to add the bow to make her cuter, so you could add, or you can always add it. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, in, at least in this uh, drawing. So there are not only two ways of me doing, uh, trying to finalize this drawing. So this is the final sketch I'm just gonna stick with. So what I normally do is that either I could use a razor and just chip off all the stuff slowly here by here, or I could start off a new layer and try to do an outline. Which, uh, it depends uh, on the situation. So normally what I do is that I'll go to ink pen, uh, not really ink pen, and go back to pen, <laughs> and try to get a decent size uh, pen, and this is size brush. It depends on, yeah, 30 would do. So I normally what I do is that I'll go through the lines I do, like this, and just basically go through the lines of it. It doesn't really matter whether uh, it's too thick or not, because what I'm going to do later on is just basically go back into it by using an eraser and chip off the excessive part bit by bit. 
So this is uh, one part of how I normally do my drawings. If I'm word, <laughs> if I'm really really lazy, I'm just gonna do like this. So it's sort of uh, save up a bit time, I guess. I'm not quite sure whether it will be saving up time, but it looks really really messy. <laughs> so normally, if I don't really uh, have any uh, major project or this one, it's just basically drawing for fun. I'm normally gonna do like this. Uh, basically, go back and chip in the parts slowly by slowly. It doesn't really matter because you can always go back and draw back the stuff. So yeah. That is one way of doing it, uh, one way of my style doing it. And there's another way is that you add a new layer, lower down the opacity so it becomes really uh, light in color. And then you go to a uh, decent amount of stabilizer because you want to have a really good stroke, which I will go into the six and you go through slowly. Uh, this one I'm going to use a slightly small brush. Okay, uh, press the wrong layer. So what I normally do is I normally go like this, slowly down and coloring the... Basically doing back the outline stuff. So you can fairly see how much it goes. Now I'm actually doing it as fast as I can because the video itself, I don't want it to be too long. And while I'm trying to explain stuff. So yeah, there's one way of doing it. If I were for doing uh, stuff for a client, I normally do like this because it's uh, much more precise in terms of doing the drawing itself. But problem is that it takes a lot of time to do it because you have to go through each and every uh, every uh, stroke, <laughs> and it takes a really, really long time. So that's why I don't normally do doing my random drawings unless I'm doing it for a client. So yeah. So what we're going to do is right now is just to basically clean up the drawing itself and then we're going to go to step 2 uh, doing coloring which is uh, hopefully I'm not quite sure how long it's going to go because I'm just going to stare at it. Alright so there is 18 minutes right now and uh, yeah so I'm just going to go in and clean up the stuff and yeah it's uh... <laughs> Let's go clean up and then we gonna go into coloring, which is a whole entirely different subject which I'm not that good at. I'm still trying to improve my coloring uh, style and coloring uh, techniques, but it still doesn't look as much uh, great that I thought it would be. But <laughs> hey, I'm still learning, I guess. And yeah, so all right. So this is what I normally do when I. Uh, too lazy to uh, go through the whole line and draw it over again. I'm just basically like, yeah, just do some clean up here and there. So basically, uh, yeah, basically clean up, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, let's, uh, let's do clean up real quick. Okay. In terms of this one as well, I'm just gonna roughly go through it because it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can always clean up it a bit by bits later on. So yeah, that's uh, one point of uh, doing this drawing, <laughs> doing like this is that you tend to have a very rough drawing, which uh, sometimes is not ideal if you try and do something really, really nice. You uh, might recommend doing the first uh, first way instead, because doing this you have a really, really rough uh, drawing, which is not really nice sometimes. It's good for uh, if it's good for you to see in a long distance, but it's not very professional, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> might want to go to uh, using the first style instead. So yeah, that's uh, first. Uh, that's how I normally usually do it in terms of my drawing my drawings, because I'm too lazy to do everything in outline unless it's uh, for clients' work. Then that's uh, totally two different stories. Uh, this is uh, so, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I have to say in terms of the sketching part. The sketching itself is uh, sketching and outline itself. It depends on how you want to achieve and what kind of art style you want to achieve as well. Because everybody has a different art style, you might be uh, quite similar in terms of a genre itself. But by the end of the day, you still be you still will be quite different from a uh, majority of the 
majority of the genre style itself like for example my uh my art style itself is uh quite similar to uh japanese anime stuff but i would like to think that my drawing is a bit different from average uh anime stuff <laughs> so yeah i'm not quite sure how it goes but hopefully my voice is well because i keep moving around my mind but like an idiot i need to keep remembering that because the voice setup i'm setting up right now isn't that good so yeah i have to make do with what i have and that's what <laughs> i have so that's uh what you have to know in terms of uh, my sketching style and yeah so what I'm going to do right now is that uh, since I'm talking a bit too much and there might be this video might go too long. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's fine. I'm just going to uh, go through the uh, cleaning up process a bit, and after that I'm just going to end this video. And the next time we come back, we're going to look at the coloring part. Which is always the amazing, most fun part, <laughs> or so it seems, because the sketching part, uh, the outlining part is a bit dull because you have to go through cleaning it up, you have to, it's very, very tedious at times, but it makes your drawing look nicer, so why not just uh, clean it the best you can? So as you guys can see right now, it's getting much more cleaner, much more uh, better in terms of uh, lying itself. So that's the gecko in terms of uh, how I do stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna finish out this one off screen. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I have to say for the first episode. There mostly will be only two episodes unless I manage to find more stuff in it. And this one would be about sketching. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the next episode. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye.